damage and space marine ranged weaponry, I want to move on to talk about something slightly different, i.e. the close combat weaponry. Now this has a little less variety in it than the space marine ranged combat weaponry, however the close combat weaponry is some of the most recognisable pieces of kit within the Warhammer 40,000 universe, and thus it is very important that I talk about them now. The most common piece of close combat weaponry, beyond the combat knife, which is issued to every single space brain upon joining their chapter, is the chain sword. Now, a chain sword is also known as a chain weapon, because there are many different varieties of chain weapons, such as chain axes and chain pikes. However, the chain sword is the most commonly wielded by the Space Marine, and it is essentially a sword with a motorised chain blade that run like razors along around the edge of the Space Marine weapon, and can be used to chew through flesh and armour very quickly. It has a distinctive buzzing sound, which will be very clear to anyone who's ever heard a chainsaw in action, and can be wielded very effectively in close combat by a Space Marine, its heavy nature being offset by the raw power that a Space Marine wields in close combat. The next type of close combat weaponry to be used are power weapons. Now, not to be confused with the idea that a Space Marine chainsaw is powered, a power weapon is actually an advanced piece of technology that takes several forms. The power sword is actually an advanced piece of technology brought forth from the Dark Age of technology, and uses a sheathed magnetic energy field which disrupts solid matter on contact, which allows the weapon to easily tear through any type of armour, including Terminator armour, making very effective weapons for Space Marine commanders and anyone who is going up against the heavily armoured individuals, such as Chaos Space Marine chapters, or even the Necrons. Next up comes the Power Fist. Now, the Power Fist is, of course, very similar to a power weapon. However, it's not something that is separately wielded apart from the armour of a Space Marine. It is actually usually integrated into the armour of a Space Marine. And, as it says on the tin, a Power Fist is a fist. It is an integrated hand-style device which is attached to a Space Marine's arm and can be used to literally punch enemies during combat. However, due to the energised magnetic field that encases the Power Fist, it can allow a Space Marine, usually a Terminator, to quite literally tear completely through an enemy. Anything from a tank to an infantryman to a greater demon of Nurgle, the power weapons can be used to completely devastate the enemies of the Space Marines, although it does mean that the Space Marine has to get in contact with the enemy before they can deal any damage. The Chain Fist is a variation of the Power Fist, and it's actually used uh, in Terminator armour primarily, and it is similar in the fact that it uses the same fist-like mounting, although it doesn't have the same power as a Power Fist, not being uh, sheathed in the electromagnetic field all the way over. It actually has a small chain weapon attached to the Power Fist, allowing the uh, Space Marine to actually punch the enemy with the chain weapon causing quite a bit of damage, although its effectiveness being limited by its low range and lack of power comparative to other chain weapons. However, it's often used by elite and older Space Marines, remembering that it used to be very commonly used against Orcs, when a Space Marine's primary mission was usually to deal with such green-skinned terrors. Lightning Claws are another form of power weapon that are actually attached to fists. Again, these are uh, another type of power fist. However, they can be wielded by both Space Marines and Terminators, and are, as they say on the tin, four or five long bladed claws that come out several feet from the fist itself, energised in the magnetic field, and used to tear through enemies in quite spectacular fashion. Lightning claws are most commonly worn as pairs, but can be worn individually by Space Marine commanders who would prefer to wield a ranged weapon as well as have the lightning claw. Now, there is another weapon that is used primarily and almost only by Space Marine chaplains, known as the Crusarius Arcanium. Now, this is both a staff and rod of office, as well as a power weapon used by the Space Marines and is actually seen as an extension of the Emperor's will due to its nature, usually being eagle-headed and wreathed in power, enabling the Space Marine Chaplain to give off an aura of power even in combat. It is usually a staff of medium length, and it can be topped with the Imperial Aquila. There are also other symbols, such as the Blood Angels symbols or other chapter markings, that can be used to signify both the fealty to the Emperor, fealty to the chapter, and fealty to bringing death to the Emperor's enemies. Moving on from the Crusarius Arcanium is another weapon which is designated as a power weapon. I know there are several of these and it is easier to bring them all to you in one big mass rather than space them out. Is the Thunder Hammer. Now the Thunder Hammers are ancient weapons that were even used on Terra before the Space Marines were founded as an official body. 
The Thunder Hammer, unlike most power weapons, does not emit a constant energy field. The Thunder Hammer is designed to energize the power field only when they impact upon the enemy, allowing it to conserve a great deal of energy and release it in one almighty blast that can completely disintegrate an enemy upon impact. The name Thunder Hammer was in fact given because when it impacts with an enemy, the sound that it makes is very reminiscent of a thunderclap, so loud and deafening that anyone not protected by the Space Marines' helmets or the Space Marines' advanced physique will usually be deafened by its blow. The amount of power that can be unleashed upon impact can be regulated by the user, although this is very rare for them to change it, as if they increase the power enough to deal a lot of damage to very heavily armoured enemies or tanks, they run the risk of the power discharging with such force that it will actually destroy not only the tank, but the person wielding the Thunder Hammer, and everyone within a decent radius due to the power unleashed. Of course, because of this, it usually means that Terminators, being the most veteran and advanced members of the Space Marine Fighting Force, will be designated as users of a Thunder Hammer, because their experience allows them to foresee any damage or danger prior to using the Thunder Hammer. The Thunder Hammer is usually used primarily alongside another device known as a Storm Shield. Now, a Storm Shield is a complex device that I will mention in the Equipment and Armour section of, of the tech videos, but it is primarily used in order to deflect a lot of the energy unleashed by the Thunder Hammer, and can help a Space Marine survive longer in combat because of this power. Well, that's the end of part one of our Space Marine technology video. I have not included things such as grenades and other equipment and armour and vehicles in this section because obviously this video is quite long and I didn't want you to all get law fatigue after all this time. So it remains for me to say I hope you all have a good day. We will see you again in the Space Marines tech video and we will see you again hopefully quite shortly.